Hello, my name is Jose Quevedo, and I will be presenting to you Realizing Seno with Programmable Data Planes on behalf of my co-authors Alexandre Santos and Daniel Kuruccio. On this talk, I will guide you through our main motivation, will tell you what Seno, how do we implement it using P4, the associated results, and the major lessons learned. The internet now is this mix of evolution and revolution. Some say IP, others say clean slate, others say heterogeneous networking. But the truth is that the adoption of emerging networking protocols has proven to be harsh. And this is where programmable data planes provide the means for a reconciliation towards a really heterogeneous networking environment. Our goal then is to expand the networking frontiers one protocol at a time. And this time is Seno, which is a data-centric protocol that supports uh, pop-sub operations, uh, distributed storage, distributed query, distributed computing. It operates on different layers and defines uh, four primitive entities, the resource, which is the actual name data exchanged over the network, the publisher and the subscriber, which are the producer and consumers of the information, and the queryables, which have been defined by the authors as a well in which you can go and pick the actual information you're looking for. To support this, it defines a set of primitive operations ranging from discovery, session management, entity management, and data management. In this work, we will be focusing on those entities and operations. Hello, my name is Jose Quevedo, and I will be presenting to you Realizing Seno with Programmable Data Planes on behalf of my co-authors, Alexandre Santos and Daniel Kuruccio. On this talk, I will guide you through our main motivation, will tell you what Seno, how do we implement it using P4, the associated results, and the major lessons learned. The internet now is this mix of evolution and revolution. Some say IP, others say clean slate, others say heterogeneous networking. But the truth is that the adoption of emerging networking protocols has proven to be harsh. And this is where programmable data planes provide the means for a reconciliation towards a really heterogeneous networking environment. Our goal then is to expand the networking frontiers one protocol at a time. And this time is Seno, which is a data-centric protocol that supports uh, pop-sub operations, uh, distributed storage, distributed query, distributed computing. It operates on different layers and defines uh, four primitive entities, the resource, which is the actual name data exchanged over the network, the publisher and the subscriber, which are the producer and consumers of the information, and the queryables, which have been defined by the authors as a well in which you can go and pick the actual information you're looking for. To support this, it defines a set of primitive operations ranging from discovery, session management, entity management, and data management. In this work, we will be focusing on those entities and operations related to the pop-sop um, functionalities. Our implementation of Seno then uh, using P4 is based on the ONF SD fabric, which means that we use ONOS, Stratum, and Fabric.p4. The goal with this is to foster the adoption of these new networking protocols on top of the communication systems already developed on top of uh, the ONF SD fabric. So we extended the fabric.p4 with some Seno parsing and pipeline processing. We developed uh, Seno pipeline and applications for ONOS and then offloaded some of this uh, pop sub for warding and sequence number handling into the data plane. So we define a set of actions, uh, tables, and rules that will allow when a publisher sends a resource into the network, the resource will be forwarded solely based on uh, forwarding plane rules towards the interested uh, subscribers. The resulting pipeline uh, looks like this. So you have here all the supported uh, packets, how they are processed, and uh, you are encouraged to visit our paper or our uh, open source release of the code if you want to take a deeper look into how we handle these packets. In terms of validation, we uh, follow a topology and mesh topology, uh, much like the ones normally used in cell deployments. 
we use this on top of a virtualized environment, targeted different implementations, native Xeno, which is the Rust implementation of the Xeno forwarder, no flooding, which is uh, the case in which everything runs on top of Onosh in the control plane, and offloading, in which is the case that we offloaded some of the PopSol functionalities into the um, data plane. The results show that native Xeno has the best performance, still it highlighted the potential of the offloading mechanisms. We wanted to take a deeper look into this and then targeted different topologies by varying the number of switches, publishers and subscribers. The results show that the native Xeno still has the best performance. Of course, let me remind you that this is a high-end production graded software and still we, although the offloading case is not as good as the native Xeno, uh, it showed that it has considerable improvements over the no-floating case and it has several partial stages, which means that this is one of the most uh, demanding tasks for this software switch implementation, which we relied on for the, our implementation. So this, in our opinion, showcased the potential for realizing Xeno with programmable data planes. Of course, we will have to target uh, hardware implementations to draw more formal conclusions regarding the performance that can be obtained, obtained with this uh, set of development on programmable data planes. Uh, hopefully this will trigger the research toward the realization and consistent of novel protocols into uh, the data plane. And we will also target more advanced solutions to improve our uh, implementation by using advanced data structures, uh, before solutions, and overall to try to accommodate uh, more functionalities uh, that were left out of this work. Um, for example, the data selection, the garbage collection, the consolidation strategies, and so on. So this is all. Very, very good work. Um, I, I was, um, I just have a, okay. I just have um, a, a quick question. So, um, now you mentioned at the end of the talk uh, that you want to try, of course, uh, with an hardware implementation. Um, do you see already some challenges that you need to solve uh, for implementing Xeno you know, uh, in, uh, in hardware? Um, you mentioned this uh, at the end of the talk, somewhat, but do you already see some, some of these uh, challenges like uh, um, limitations of before hardware uh, that make it difficult to not to exploit uh, so, yes, so um, mainly I, I see the limitations for the expanding of the functionalities of Seno, because for example, in Seno you have these uh, queryables and, and that works based on, on strings. And uh, then you have to, to parse the strings. There are already some works uh, which address this, but having this into a, a real Tofino and implementing all the queries should be challenging. Also, the, the part of the content stores uh, in which you have to store some data, because in Seno, you can send a, a packet to a dormant client, and then when the client connects, it can pull the data from the, from the switch. Uh -huh. and, and that part of uh, state information and also the storage of the, of the actual content will be challenging in this, in this kind of applications. Okay, I see. And um, let's say what um, besides uh, the, the potential of a more efficient and uh, uh, performant, let's say, Xeno implementation, what are the other points that you bring to justify the need uh, for a P4 implementation? Well, for me, I will say that the, the major thing is adoption. So whenever you're introducing a, a new protocol, uh, you immediately are compared with IP. And IP has years of evolution, years of perfectioning. And uh, new protocols has not uh, the possibility, up to now, with before, of being uh, actually uh, evolved and implemented in networks. And, and I think that Xeno in this case is, is a great opportunity because it's considered for localized environments, uh, and you can even incorporate these with other solutions like the implementation of uh, UPFs based on, on P4 and have, for example, a Xeno session for an edge application in some robotic applications. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, okay, cool. I'm looking forward to see the, the outdoor implementation also. Thank you, thank you very much.